We're going live. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Um, so I don't even really want to wait. Yeah, well, let's, let's wait until we get to 19. 19. 18, 18, we just dropped. We've got some really good news to share. So we'll wait for a few more people and then we'll share. Um, but I did want to, let me, I am, I put on, um, so the Amelia's Army shirt we have available that is the women's, women's cut. This is it. And this is, this is a size, a small, is it better? And so you can kind of see this, it's longer and it's, you know, it, it's fitted and I would not order a small for Bradley, <laughs> put it that way. I'd get one for May, but I wouldn't buy one for Bradley um, or Drew, yeah. but like it covers my butt completely. And so this is a size small. I'm five, six and 135 pounds for a bit of reference. Um, all right. But so that's the um, super soft, the women's cut super soft shirt that we have um, available from our merch shop for Amelia's Army. Hi, Remy. You're such a good girl. Um, so we've got some really good news to share. And it's not just good news, but it's great news. And so I'm just going to read it directly from Chris. All right. This is gonna be my next attempt at going all the way through without interrupting them. I will read it straight through. Okay. And I was nervous too, because this morning, I'm saying this now, so I don't have to interrupt him. Um, this morning I checked for updates and nothing. I checked like an hour later and nothing. And so I was getting really nervous and so when I started reading, I saw update for today is short and sweet. It was like, whew, because I was really worried that they were, everything was being walked back. Yeah. So um, update for today is short and sweet. We're going to pick up Amelia at 3 p.m. Germany time. And you know what time that is here? That's 9 a.m. here. So that's, yeah, the, she's home. Well, I mean, maybe not home, but we just. We had daylight savings, I know, so. We find out right now. Because they, um, we went ahead an hour. But either way, she should, they should what be home because, be um, if, or she'll be, they'll be with her. They will be reunited with their family. Yeah, they will. For one hour. Yes. Yay. Well, and I imagine they calculated that when they put that in there. They probably did like exactly what you did. Oh. Because um, they, they put in the post. Oh. oh, I interrupted. Dang it. I didn't even get through the first paragraph. You, you the first <laughs> no, I got through um, short and sweet, period. Oh. <laughs> um, there was no air to pull out today. She is hungry. She is whining in her cage because she wants to play, and she has far too much energy, energy to be stuck in the hospital. Obviously, we still have to go back with her for a checkup tomorrow and Wednesday when we pick her up today. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. And when we pick her up today, we are going to have a long chat with the treating vet. I'm sorry, I'm shouting. For what we have to do. What we have to watch out for and if there are any medications that she needs to be taking. It wasn't expected at all that she would bounce back this fast. But they said that as long as she keeps eating at home, the love and affection of her family will help a lot more with the healing than being trapped in a hospital. We're still waiting on the final bill, but it is estimated to be well over 7,000, possibly even 8,000 with prescriptions and checkups included. That is a really good deal, less, that less than we were expecting since she managed to avoid any more surgeries, but still quite a bit. We are so grateful for everyone's help up to this point, and we will continue to be grateful for any additional support that people can offer. Still, we are so happy and excited. Oh, yay, Amelia's going yay. home. Oh, I want to hug them. and. Like Drew and I were just talking like a half an hour ago about how it, like two days ago we were afraid that she was, um, I mean, we were, oh, we were so afraid. 
we really thought that she was not going to pull through and, um, but we were really like keeping our fingers crossed and trying to put all the po good positive juju out there for Amelia. And so, um, everybody's finger crossing everything. Sorry, Daisy. <laughs> everything worked. Um, so far, so far. Um, and, oh, I wanted to tell you guys too, that for Amelia's army, um, merchandise has raised $530. We hit the $500 goal. So we got $530 on Amelia's army merch. Thank you to everybody who has gotten merch. We've gotten t-shirts and mugs, t-shirts and mugs. Um, but a lot of people got, um, like one of each, they got mugs and t-shirts and, or, you know, t-shirts for the family. And so thank you so much. I think somebody got one of each mug. Um, and so just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I know that the Atkins really, really, really appreciate it. Um, and I hope that you guys have little mementos to remember all of this rallying we did to help Amelia and we have a happy ending. So, um, well, you know, as ending as it can get. Um, but I'm just so glad that this is, um, you know, all of our efforts are resulting, you know, our, the outcome is positive because one of my concerns with merch ship time is like two to four weeks because I have to make it. And I was really worried that it was a little shaky to have merch, you know, made and, and, um, bought, shipped, and then um, Amelia passes away, God forbid, and um, then the Adkins receive their merch, and everyone receives their merch, and it's got like this, I was just really worried that it might not, um, like if the timing would be really poor, um, and so um, I'm just really, really happy that they have a happy ending. Um, I co totally agree with the vet. We've just, we talked about this yesterday, um, how the, um, survival rates in people, um, when they have a code blue or, um, a, a, um, you know, any sort of respiratory arrest or cardiac arrest, if they're doing CPR. Um, the, survival rate of the patient goes up almost exponentially um, if the family is in the room. They found that when the family is there talking to the patient, even when they're doing CPR and it's loud, um, if the patient has somebody that they love that is important to them and they can like almost kind of focus on their words and it helps that will to live. And, um, and so what the vet said about it being good for Amelia to be with her family. Um, oh, Mocha, do you want to come in? Oh, she jumped out of the pen. Mocha did? Yeah. Mocha, you little stinker. She's right here. She's like, let me in. She's like, I wanna, I wanna be there for- Careful, Mocha, the troll says, we misuse you for letting you into the kitchen. Mocha, uh, Mocha senses that her sister is better. Oh, that is it. Let me give you your microphone. Oh. Sorry about that. Sorry, right, folks. That's my loud. Blinking. I wish there was like a mute options that like if you don't necessarily want to turn it off, but you. I think that's what the blinking is. If you press the, if you just oh, if you just tap if, it. If you just tap the power button, it starts blinking. And I think that's just muting it. Thanks. Oh, your coffee uh -huh. is there. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna go grab uh, the scones here in a second. Oh. Um. Oh, what else did I want to tell you guys? Um, oh, um, so ad revenue 
Um, the ad revenue that posted yesterday for the um, for the stream from two days ago. Um, it's the that one was more than that first one. So the first one that we did that I guess we should say the second day where we did that first long stream. Um, it beat that that one where we had like the most the most revenue on day one. <clears throat> so I want to show you guys. $12.78 total for the live stream. Um, all right, take that back. This is for, now I can't tell if this is for, okay, so hold on. That's yesterday's. That's the day before. Okay, that's right. Like, wait, I don't think it was, I didn't remember it being that much, but maybe it is. Um, the RPM that we talked about that, um, cost per, um, or I'm sorry, the revenue per 1000 views, you guys brought it up to $10 and 70 cents. So that's a really, really, really high, um, for a pet niche. Um, it's really usually the RPM is between like two and $4. Um, and I think they can tell based on the, like the, um, <clears throat> The language, you know, when they process the video and they, um, the AI is doing its thing, you know, scanning for words and everything, they can figure out, um, you know, what kind of value it's going to bring to advertisers and they use keywords to be able to um, match you to advertisers. Like I'm sure when you're watching our stream, um, you probably see a lot of like pet products and I've seen, um, that what's it trio Imper some perico trio the ad about a hundred times um but the um sorry let's put train of thought um where was i going with that well um either way um, what did I want to say? Oh, that's going to bug me now. Um, it'll come back to me. So, but either way, um, when you guys are letting the ads play, um, oh, I was talking about the niches. So our regular RPM is between about two and four dollars. Um, and that's with the, you know, conservative ads that's with everything at, at the lowest that it goes. Um, and it's, so it's between two and four dollars. Um, um, per thousand views. And so to bring it up to, it's $10 70 cents to sort of bring it up to almost $11 is like absolutely blows my mind because that's getting closer. That's getting to like educational stuff, tutorial stuff. That's really impressive. Um, and so, and that's all because you guys have been letting the live stream play. You've been here with us. Um, and we appreciate your time, your efforts to even like bother doing all of this. Cindy, <laughs> for setting up three streams on three devices while you were at work. <laughs> um, and so uh, I just wanted you guys to be able to see what a difference that makes. Um, you triple the, the rate that YouTube is um, going to be distributing. So um, thank you. I mean, I, I feel like I, I wish there was a better way to. Yeah, there's there's no no way to say like we can't we cannot say thank you enough for uh, for helping the Adkins the way that you have. And then here's this other one. It's at um, 1187. Nine. The RPM for this one is nine dollars twenty eight cents. The cost per thousand views is also going up a lot. Um, that um, last one I was telling you about was at twenty-two dollars per thousand views, which is also really expensive. We're usually at about like eight. Um, advertisers usually pay between like five and eight dollars 
on the live streams per thousand. And then like on a video, it's usually like between three and four. It's a lot lower on like our little three minute videos are a lot lower. Uh, let's see though. Um, but on the day for revenue, so not for yesterday, we'll get yesterday's revenue about 5 p.m. today. Um, so for um, when we're including, where'd it go? There we go. Let's see. I can't remember which day, day where did my watch go? Which day day one was, if it was the sixth or the seventh, but if it's the sixth, oh, I see, we've, so we've got, so um, the most recent post was for $20.26 for March 9th. And then prior to the day before that was $20.47. And the day before that was $19.73. And then the day before that was March 6th, which was either the first day or the day before. I'm not sure. So we'll just include it. And that was $14.55. So we are about $20 um, in revenue each day. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is so helpful for the, the Adkins family. And, you know, even if, um, um, lose my train of thought. Um, but we really appreciate everybody's support. Um, I can't believe that Amelia is going home. She may already, she should be at home. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's already I, home. I hope that they like send us pictures or something. Yeah. How are we gonna? What do yeah. we do now? <laughs> well, it's oh, I guess it's four o'clock that time, All right? So that's a Monday. So um, and so even though she's home, we're going to continue. I think for a couple of days. Um, I'd like to get a little bit higher for revenue um on YouTube to send to them. So we're gonna keep going for a few days. So I mean, she's still on the mend, and so. For one, we didn't even we didn't expect her to go home. Today. Yeah, anything can happen in these next few days, and so right. she's one hundred percent. Um, I that that state that she's in. Um, many of you may have been in it before, where you're at the hospital and you're discharged, and your discharge is really like they're kind of they say to you, you know, now you're not better. You're just, we're just changing your environment so you don't, need, because you don't need to be on an IV. You know, you don't need medications from, you know, from our stock. You don't need, you know, uh, you don't need our monitoring, um, you know, at the exorbitant cost that it is per night. Um, and so, you know, the environment is changing, you know, out from away from the hospital, but you're so sick. It's the healing, and um, hush, 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 hush. Thank you. Good doggies. Good doggies. Um, and so, and like we've talked about, where you know, people and animals they do better when they are surrounded by um, those that they love. When Amelia goes home and she's able to sit with the Adkins and snuggle them and she's back to where it smells like them. And she has, you know, all of her things, you know, when you're so comfortable in your home that you have this awareness of it, you know, as you're turning a corner, you can map out in your head what, what is to come. And, um, like I have all kinds of memories throughout our, each home we've lived in after we've done right away. But after you've been there for a while, you start having all these memories and just in like every spot of the home. And so wherever you look, it's just everything is very familiar. And so once Amelia is back in that environment and she's not with strangers, you know, I'll be kind and I'm sure very loving, warm, wonderful strangers. 
but strangers nonetheless, um, when she's got her people to love on her and I mean, her, probably her, her heart rate is going to go down. Just, just that alone in a good way. Not, not, don't, don't lower it too much, Amelia. But, um, it just, there's going to be a calming effect and her body won't be as stressed just from being displaced out of her home. Um, and so that alone is going to be helpful for her healing. Um, however, that's not to say that she's not still, um, she's, you know, of course not in critical condition, but she's still sick. And, Hush. Um, things still need to heal. Hush, 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 hush. Hush. Are we good? Are we good? And I think everybody's a little nervous to um, call Amelia, you know, good or better. Um, because she is, like I was saying, that um, the, you know, it's not necessarily, you know, a lot of places they discharge you and you're not like quite ready to be going home, but there's not really anything more that they can do for you there. And so, um, you know, like I think Chris said it well, it's like, you know, she's not doing anything that she can't do at home. And so you might as well have her in her home environment. Um, but that doesn't mean she's not still sick. It's just that being in her home environment at this point now can provide a lot of benefit that the, that the vet's office will not be able to provide. And that's that familiarity, you know, with her home and her family. And so there we go. That's a lot better. Sorry. I, when I can't find my words, I ramble a lot. So I apologize. Um, but very happy news all around. I'm so thrilled for them. <clears throat> I was so worried that they were going to lose her and, um, I don't know. It was, it was really scary and I can only imagine how, how they felt. So <clears throat> I hope that, I hope that, um, they're having a really good day. I hope that, you know, nobody's got to work. I hope that everything is good. So hopefully we'll hear from them soon and we'll get a, a picture or two. No pressure, Chris. Just, just whenever. I would, I would just, I would, oh, I would love to see a picture of your daughter and Amelia and then a picture of all of you guys and Amelia, if you're taking requests. <laughs> Are they on right now? Um, I don't know. I don't know if they're on. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go look in a second, but um, it would just be awesome to see because when, you know, the whole no visiting order was put in place. Um, it was like, uh, you know, what if, what if she doesn't get to see her again? You know, that was what crossed my mind. And, and so that's why I, I'm asking for a picture of, of um, Amelia with her, her ESA handler. You're such a good girl. I mean, you guys are all good dogs today. Everybody's a good dog today. Good day. Hi, Daisy. Last night when I got under the covers, um, Daisy came over. When when I pull the covers up, Daisy always gets underneath them and goes to bed. And last night she was kind of like further down on the bed, um, kind of like under a throw. And um, I pulled the covers up and she came marching over. And she sat down because the covers were like situated in a way where she usually she'll like nose her way into them. 
And so she came over and she sat down and she put her paw on me. And so I just started petting her. I wasn't really thinking anything of it. And I was just petting her and she just puts her paw on me again and again and again and again. And I was like, what, why are you just staring at me, putting your paw on me? Like, stop staring at me. And that was exactly the issue. She I needed the blankets opened for her because she is a princess. They're so silly. Yes. Yeah. Just try to get you. I know, little sneak attacks. Your mouth smells like a Her her breath doesn't smell bad right now. Paris. So May was explaining to me this really gross thing about Paris. And she's right. And I really didn't want to believe. I like I really wanted to think that May just misunderstood. <laughs> But she explained to me that when she wakes up each morning that Paris comes over to her and essentially she will not leave her alone until May allows, <laughs> it's even weird to say, until May allows Paris to smell her breath. So like her morning breath. And so I was like, what? No, like you're just, she's just coming to say hi to you. And she's like, you know, you're talking to her. And so naturally, I'm sorry, <laughs> popping up. Naturally, she's just engaging and coming closer. And so then I started paying attention. And no, Paris really does, like, she comes up in your face like this. And then she, like, takes her nose and she puts it up by your lips and goes, <sighs> like, she really does sniff your breath in the morning um, as part of her good morning, I guess. But it is really, really awkward. It's so weird because you know that you've got stanky morning breath. And then you've got Paris coming over, like, let me smell it. You're a weird dog, Paris. You're so weird. At least Daisy doesn't have to sniff my morning breath. You're a good girl. I love that she sleeps under the blankets because whenever she's like, um, when she's being like this, <laughs> I can just put the blankets over her and pet her and she'll just close her eyes and go to sleep. You're such a good girl. Yeah, you are. You're such a good girl. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I don't know what you want right now, though. I really don't. I don't. What do you want? What is it? Huh? I need to just blow your breath. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think that it. She's not trying to sniff. In Paris too. So if you if she's trying to sniff your breath and you give her like a like a nice, she is all over it. She loves that. That's a good that's a good morning for her. It is really gross. <laughs> May will be um, she'll be in our bedroom waiting for the school bus and she'll have Paris with her and Paris will be like chasing her mouth around and um, uh. Uh, what was I say? Oh, Maybe. oh, so May will be sitting there, and Paris is chasing her mouth, and she won't stop until May turns. And is, I'll hear her, okay, Paris, you can sniff my breath. This was, I think, this was how I learned about this whole thing. And that was when she explained to me that in the morning, every morning, Paris has to smell her breath. So gross. Oh, you're so good. Oh, thank you. Hi. Oh, who's a good girl, Daisy? Thanks for not being gross. You can eat less poop, though. Oh. Anybody has a. Uh... There's all kinds of like various things <laughs> like on Amazon and stuff like things you can give your dog and yeah it like makes it taste icky or something yeah. yeah because I think the question has been asked um in general not not here um the question has been asked like is that because they're lacking something in their diet and not not really is what I understand
thugs are eating food that's so rich that their body can't absorb all the nutrients, and so there's still stuff left in the food. Yeah, but so they're not deficient in anything. Oh, yeah. They're like, ooh. This is like. Got some, some extra protein over here. This is the uh, twice cooked pork, but it's only been cooked one time. Ooh. Oh, for anybody who has joined us since the very, very beginning, um, for um, our Amelia's Army t shirts, the women's cut t shirt, I am wearing that shirt right now. This is that very same shirt. Um, but with our logo on it. And so I just wanted to show you guys, this is a size small. Um, this is a size small net shirt. It's the women's cut. You can see it covers my butt almost all the way. Um, but like the sleeves, you know, they're a little smaller. They're, they are nice and long. I like that. Um, but like it, you know, it comes in a little bit here. Um, and so this is a size small. And so... Like I'm picturing, you know, I can't picture ordering a large and put it, giving it to Drew. Um, the large would be much longer, of course. Well, maybe not much longer, but it would be longer. And um, I know that's just not really a men's style as far as I know. But um, so we also have another one that um, I think Drew's going to bring it out. Um, uh, that. Um, is a more of a men's cut and um, it's, it's not, it's technically unisex. It's not really men's. It's just, I labeled it that way to make it easier for you guys. Um, if you're shopping to be able to choose which one might fit better. Um, but the, the one that we have labeled men's um, is a little bit boxier. Um, it doesn't have this, this coming in in the middle um, and it's not as long. Um, and Drew has one um, with our logo, but he has um, that shirt that um, we put the design on. And so I think that's what he's changing into right now. And so he'll show you. But this is a size small. Um, and for reference, I am 5'6 and 135 pounds. So um, I hope that helps a little bit. Um, I love this shirt. I, I want to get another one. And when I get my Amelia one, it's going to be the, this one. Um, because I, I love this shirt, the, um, the whole super soft thing. It's they, I don't know what material or like what they use to make it that way, but, um, it basically comes all broken in already. Um, it's like nice and soft and flexible. It's not stiff at all. Um, and so I love my, I love my shirt. So, um, but I put, I wanted to put that on for you guys today so that you could see, what it looks like in person, what the size looks like. Um, because there is, we do have one shirt on there and I should probably just take it off, but we have one shirt on there. Um, I have one and you need to size up like two sizes because it's like one of the ones where the, like the sleeve only comes down to like here. Um, I ordered a large for Drew thinking it was just like, because the picture looked kind of boxy and, um, so it got here and, I knew it was for him. It was large and I open it up and hold it up and like it, it, it could fit me. <laughs> and so that one immediately went to me. And even for me, it's a little small. Um, it shows a bit of my muffin top when I'm wearing jeans. And so um, I don't even really wear it that much. And so um, it's this I have on our uh, merch shop. I wrote on there in the title to size up, to be sure to size up if you order that one. And so there is a notation um, if you pay attention to that. Hey, so which one is this? Oh, that's not on there. The, uh, I know. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, I can see how much it costs. I believe it was like just too expensive to make it. Oh, that. We, well, I don't know if we, I was, we, was we were originally looking at the shoulders too. And well, so, I know, but just the shirt. The, yeah. I, the um, what about the shirt? Did you make uh, this into uh, an Amelia? Arm? No, but I should. Oh, okay. Don't, don't worry about it. It's, um, well, I wanted to recheck the press. Hold on. Hold on, Bobby's.
I want to see if we um, we're at five hundred and forty one dollars um, proceeds for Amelia's Army merch. You guys rock. I hope you guys like them. Mark. The app on my phone doesn't always update as quickly as the website does. Oh, I think it was because it didn't have the right color. But we could do it on... Um, no, it's all right. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but that we could do it on uh, like the neutral colors. I just dropped an ad. I apologize, forgot to give you guys a heads up, but if you are still here, that means you didn't get one. <laughs> You got to figure out what to do now that <laughs> no. we begin taking uh, my wrist temperatures soon. Yeah. I'm going to go. I got the car because I told them I was going to wake them up early today. Oh. So I'll get them. I'll get them.
Frito, what's the matter, buddy? You want to go out? You want to go out to the, the kitchen? You want to go to the kitchen? Yeah, come on. Good boy. Rio, what's the matter, buddy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Hi, buddy. Oh, I think they're gone. Good, Rio boy. Everyone asks about you. Come say hello. Oh, sorry about that. Come say hello. Hi, good boy. So Rio, um, Rio is Amelia's cousin. He's cousins with Amelia. Yes, you are. You're a good boy. You're a good, oh, yes, you are. You're a good boy. Oh, who's a good boy? So he's um, Rio is Paris's um, Paris and Spikes um, from Paris's one and only litter. He is um, just over a year old. Um, <laughs> hey, buddy. He is a wonderful, he, he's a wonderful dog. <laughs> he's such a good boy. He is, um, he, very, he embodies Cavaliers very well. He is a put that thing away. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's so affectionate and loving. And, oh, he loves everybody. He's such a good boy. Yes, you are. You are a good boy. You are a good boy. He loves to play with the puppies. He's going to be such a good daddy dog. Yeah. He'll probably have his first litter um, in 2025. This year, we are spending our time doing um, um, testing and evaluations, all the clearances that we ordinarily do. Um, Hey, buddy. And so, he will be ready in 2025. Yeah, it's coming faster. It's coming faster than I thought it would. He was a good boy. You're such a good boy. Yeah, you are. He's so handsome. You are so handsome. You are. You're handsome. Yes, and you have very nice fur. You're such a sweet boy. And he, he just loves the kitties. He just loves them like a little bit too much. <laughs> oh, boy. indeed. He loves them a little too much. Especially Cutie Pie. Yeah, he's the one that has the bizarro relationship with Cutie Pie. Um, it's like they both understand that they have a mutual need <laughs> that neither of them will be able to fulfill for the other. But it's fun and to practice. So they kind of like a parallel situation. <laughs> if you can read between the lines of that. There is video evidence. Yeah. But Cutie Pie is, she is such a funny cat and she loves Rio. <laughs> she loves Rio. She loves the attention that he gives her. Spike is really funny though because, and I will try. I will. I was gonna put the cat stream up yesterday, and I keep forgetting. So I will get it up today. Um, but Spike has become so. I mean, he already was, but he is so protective of the cats. Um, if Rio and Macchiato are in there and they look at them cross-eyed, Spike will be right between the cats and the dog. He is. Spike is so happy with his little cat kingdom. He's such a good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah. Rio's got like this perfect thumbprint. Like it's a perfect size. It's a perfect circle. You were so pretty. How did that happen? Mm -hmm. You're such a pretty boy. Yeah. You're a good boy. Yeah. Do you want to get my lap? Do you want to snuggle? Yeah. <laughs> You're a big boy. You're a big boy. Yeah, you are big. You are big. You're such a good boy. 
I can't get over how beautiful you are. You are, you are. It's funny because his head is bigger than both Paris and Spike. Like his head reminds me of Macchiato. It does. It does. Yeah. You like to come hang out with Joe. Um, the last dog that we have in heat is Mocha, and so she is, um, she's on her way out of her heat cycle, but, um, once that she is through with that and all of our moms are, like, back to normal, um, we will start bringing Rio into the kitchen more, because usually we have, we bring the boys through here, um, pretty regularly throughout the day. Um, but we've had, we have not had, we've not gone like three days with, with a mom not being in heat since Thanksgiving. Um, and so we haven't really had a chance to show you guys, um, how we usually bring the boys through, um, and we'll bring them in. We, it's kind of crowded to have everybody in here. And so, um, that's why we don't have everyone together. Well, and apart from the whole boy-girl thing. But um, we don't have them in here, like, full-time when our moms are safe to be around because it, it's it's a lot. It's um, a but lot. we like to bring them into play. It's a lot of legs and a lot of doggy heads. What you doing over there, buddy? <laughs> He's so silly. What are you sniffing? Rio, good boy. Who's a good boy? Yes, you are. You're such a good boy. Hey, handsome. Hey, handsome. Yeah, you really are a handsome boy. He is, isn't he beautiful? And yeah. his fur is growing in so nicely. What's up? It's so pretty. I don't I'm sorry, I don't have anything. Do you want a treat? Is that let's go see if there's some treats we can give you. Where'd those milk bones go? You're so handsome. You are. You are so handsome. That was the sweetest look you were giving daddy. That was so sweet. That was so sweet. Yes, you're a good boy. He's like, of course I love coming in here. I get everybody to myself. <laughs> Says that feels so good, Mom. Thank you. You're a good boy. Who's a handsome boy? Ooh. Not guess it. You gotta sit. I watched a short today of good boy. this guy who is laying on the couch. Um pretending to be asleep and he had a piece no. of cheese in no. his hand Sit. and his dog keeps coming over like tempted to take the cheese and then finally the dog comes over and puts its paw like up in his hand and kind of does like an obvious like shake and then he puts his paw down and then he grabs the cheese and i just thought Sit. that was hilarious because um that's <laughs> that's something our dogs would do <laughs> Because of how we, our dog, they wouldn't do shake, they would sit though. They would go over there and they would sit down and then grab it. <laughs> but um, I just thought that was really funny. Mm, you're a good boy, Leo. Leo. Come here, who's a good boy? Hi. We need to give everybody showers. He is super affectionate. Everybody needs doggy showers. Look at your beautiful tail. You're so affectionate, buddy. And so Rio, we would like to pair with Missy. Um, it'll probably be Missy's last litter. Um, we'll be with Rio. And so we'd like to pair Rio with Missy. Um, and then or maybe last two litters. Last two track, litters. How many litters yeah. um, and then oh, oh, we would love to pair him with Myra, too. Oh, man. That Those would be it. would have... They had, they, yeah, they would have supermodel puppies. They would. What about him and um, Robin? Like an, an all Blenheim litter. Hmm. And their looks coming together because she is so beautiful. Like, just think of uh, um, Piper. Yeah. Like how beautiful Piper is. Well, Piper, Macchiato's Piper. Oh, that's right. That's right. Rio. 
Dude. Jesus, is such a beautiful dog. He is a handsome boy. Who's a handsome boy? And it's just so funny because he was the puppy in the litter that kept getting rejected. Poor guy. <laughs> and um, and that's kind of why we ended up keeping him because My boy was really... when the third family, um, not just third family inquiring, but like the third family that um was, it was seriously inquiring and ready to put down a deposit and like that sort of level family um they backed out and um it's not often that we have a family back out at all like at that late at that stage of the game um and so we kind of took that as a sign that maybe we should reconsider looking for a family because by that point he was like five weeks old I think. yeah it was like five or six weeks he um was, he was getting old yeah and we were thinking, like, maybe this is a sign that we should keep him. Because this, it never happens, really, for anyone to back out that far along. And it happened three times. Yeah, a little long for it to be the third family. Yeah. Um, on the same puppy, who happens to be a beautiful dog with a wonderful personality. You are such a good doggy. Rio would make, he would make a really good ESA dog, and then he would also make a really great family dog, like just for everybody, because he just loves everybody mm -hmm. so much. He's like Paris, where he loves everybody as, like, as full as he can. Like, he makes you feel like you are his person. God, I mean, think about, you know, Myra's the same way, where she loves everybody. Oh, man, him and Myra. God, their know, puppies would be I know. so Yeah, equal. Myra's this, uh, where she's like, she's got good ESA traits. But she also, she loves everybody so much. I don't know if mm -hmm. she could focus on one person. Right. Yeah, I think that Rio and Myra would make the best family dogs. Their the, uh, their offspring would be the the best family puppies. Yeah. You are such a good boy. And he's like the perfect size for a family that has three kids. And mm hmm. He's still a little rough and tumble. Yeah. He's still, you know, excitable and ha likes to have fun. I'm gonna go play. But he loves what what you're doing right now with him. Yeah. We're just hanging out. Yeah, just hanging out, laying down. Getting some ear scratches. Not getting crazy. Who's a good boy? Yes, you're a good boy, Rio. You're a good boy. Oh, I was going to look up. So um, I wanted to do the Happy Hound headlines, but I wanted to look up. Um, I was going to do like a take it like a certain direction. I was going to look up um, that whole like barking, the collar thing, the smart collar had me curious as to like what kind of latest innovations they've made for dogs or animals. Nah. And so that's what I wanted to look up. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Rio. <laughs> <laughs> what are you eating the thing? And he's well, like, I got, yeah, I stood up to get my scode. I sit back down just kind of like, you know, mm. talking and completely unaware of him. Uh -huh. And he's looking at me and he's so patient. You're such a good boy. No, is, that, that, is that for me? Is that for me? Old. You're a very good boy. Do you want me to grab some milk bones for you? Yeah, he deserves a treat for being so good. Um, Careful, Rio. Don't ruin it. I mean, so good. <laughs> Aha. Good boy. Oh boy. Here, I'll let you go. Like, I'm not gonna have to fight for that one. Real, <laughs> real. Mom's got him. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Go here. Good. Good boy. <laughs> you dropped it. You dingbat. You're so silly.
You're a good boy. Who's a good boy? You're a good dog. Be gentle. Be gentle. No. This hand. This hand. Good boy. Gentle. Gentle. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, I didn't say good morning to you guys. I'm so sorry. Come here, Rio. Rio. I know, I was so distracted. All right. Hi there, Kathy. <laughs> she says Rio has great muscle tone. He is not delicate looking. It definitely looks like a male. Yeah. yeah. He, he really, he's, um, got some very nice definition in those back thighs. He's a strong boy. He's got those strong legs from his dad. You're such a good boy. Hurry up, sit. Good boy. Yeah, for any of you that uh, don't know, Spike is quite the jumper. He's got some really, really strong <laughs> yeah, back he's legs. Like a spring. So yeah. He can just jump upright, like Tigger. Like he just jumps up and down. Yeah, he just jumps straight up and, down up and down on his back legs. He's got the the best vertical in our our pack, and Rio gets those uh those genes from from Spike. So that's probably where his nice strong leg definition comes from. <laughs> huh, buddy? Huh, buddy? Hi there, Jan. Who's a good boy? Oh, hi, good boy. Oh my gosh, good. She says, funny, both girls are small and boys were big. I didn't realize she's right. And so Theo and Rio are all huge. And Vienna and Minnie are tiny. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it's a girl, girl and boy thing. Maybe. That's weird. That's so interesting. I'm so curious if there's anything to that. I wonder if we should look at, like, think of pom poms litters too. Like, see if they. Yeah. That's. Because I always attribute it to that, that, um, that Vienna got. Like some genes that Pom Pom and uh, Paris share. Right. That's why she ended up so small, like like Pom Pom, like Pommy. When Minnie looks exactly like Pom. Yeah. So her fur grew out just like Pom's. Yeah. Look at this dog. Hi there, Bob. Look at this dog. Oh, I love Look his thumbprint him. too. She says she loves his thumbprint. Oh man, he loves this. Look at his face. What a good boy. Aww. What a good boy. He is a good boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jan says, so that's where Minnie gets her strong back legs. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. yeah, definitely from Spike and not yep. from Paris, the not... one who lumbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you guys ever get a chance, we'll try and shoot a video of Paris running in the backyard. We'll show you like a, um, oh, a video of her in a rush. <laughs> yeah, in a rush. Uh, but... And then a video of her just at regular pace yeah. because both are slow. Uh, both are slow, but her, her like fast running, like, do you remember Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, how he walked and he had this sort of like weird kick yeah. with his toes. Yeah. That's kind of what Paris looks like when she's running. It's kind of like, uh. <laughs> yeah. she lumbers. Yeah. She lumbers around. Yeah. Minnie's muscles are definitely from Spike. <laughs> Not from Paris. Huh, mister. Your beautiful fur is from mom, though. Your beautiful yes, fur is and from beautiful Paris. face. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Beautiful face is from mom, too. Yeah. Spike has, like, a very, um, his Boop. face is, like, it paired very nicely with Paris. All yeah. Our girls who have very feminine faces. Yeah. Because his, um... His... As he grew up into an adult, I felt like his like his eyes and his snout kind of like centralized onto it, like into his face. Yeah, they weren't as narrow. All right, I'm gonna try to not get distracted. Amber, hi, how are you? Hi, Michael. Thank you for good joining boy. us. Good boy. Thanks for stopping yeah, by. I don't know if you heard. I changed the title too since we shared the news that Amelia is home. Oh my goodness. Hi, Paula. Sunshine can walk on her two back legs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now that's funny. Sunshine also spikes off. Yeah. 
Oh, that's oh right. Sunny, we love you. Sunshine. Boop. Hi, Linda. <gasps> Boop. Hi, Rio. Who's a good boy? Good morning, Sue. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I think I missed a Tang. Yeah, the uh, Tang just got off. Mike and Susie. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Mike and Susie. Lee Dawn, I'm not sure if you're still on, but if you are, um, thank you for joining us. Le Dawn. Michelle, thank you for joining. <laughs> Rio Good is morning, really, Cindy. really is oh, really. Puppy, puppy signed on. Rio, that was an hour ago, so I don't... Rio oh, is boy. very curious in what you're doing. Oh, careful! Watch yeah, that. I know. <laughs> this is very delicate, very delicate procedure there. Good boy, Rio Dog. You are, such a, you are so beautiful. Come on, handsome. Let's go. I gotta call the girls in before they start halting traffic. Aw, Maggie goes to the vet today for a check. Come on, Rio. Good luck, Maggie. Good boy. Who's a good boy? No. Oh. oh, ouch. What did he do? Rio just ran straight into the oh. gate. Is he okay? Yeah, that's fine. Rio? Oh my gosh. Like like a, like a bird going through a sliding glass door. Right? Like just straight into oh it. Oh my god. Yeah. Didn't see it. Rio, are you okay? That had to look so pretty funny from your through. perspective. Yeah, it's all snow, but... <laughs> oh. He does have a bit of Paris's lumbering when he runs like that. Yeah. He does like his goofy, <laughs> his goofy Rio run. The goofy Rio run. He did so hard that he could do this. Oh, he Dang. did. Rio, are you okay, man? What happened? Oh, it's so crazy. We have like all these weird things that happen in our house that we think is from our son. And we've got more dead lights that are glowing when they shouldn't be. Um, we have a little, uh, like a, a Christmas decoration that's still up. <laughs> and um, when it was still Christmas time, we had a, a little tree that had a bunch of lights that it had like long since died out from like two weeks prior to Christmas and it was like just after New Year's and um, Drew and I were up one night and we looked over and we, were, we realized that tree was shining very brightly the lights were super bright like we had just put fresh batteries in and like I even asked Drew if he had put batteries in because that was the only like way that that could have happened but no 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 fresh batteries um and then it happened again two nights ago. It happened again a different um, the Christmas decoration. Similar lights. They're LED lights um, that um, they just go in with like the flower, like flowers. And so, but the batteries died. Um, I think they lasted at least through Christmas. But they've it's been unlit for a long time now. And two nights ago, it was what? like bright, like it had fresh batteries again. And so I even took pictures. Um, okay. And it was still it's on right. yesterday, but it's now completely off. It's not not on anymore. So um, that was on for a couple of days, and then it just shuts off. Uh, Look at girl. Hi. I don't smell any poop in the breath. That's great. That's really good. That's good news. Check your teeth. I have to check your teeth. <laughs> Yep. Mocha's got some great tea. So, all those uh, dog turds that were on the uh, uh, front porch, mm -hmm. a number of them are gone. Mm -hmm. I think that someone had themselves a buffet. Ooh. <laughs> That's really gross. Yeah. I'm looking at you, Missy. I'm going to put the prenatal... Can I put them in here? Or That's you fine. know... Hey Philip. Yeah. Um May's AirPods were right here um like Friday. Um, 
So this was right here. It was set up something like this. And um, since you did your big cleaning, Okay, well, I just wanted to find out if you had moved or. I mean, I put that mug there, but. Then... Yeah, that's what it, that's kind of what I I thought. Um, so I want I wanted to check with you and then see if you had seen them at all. They look like dads. They have the same case. No, it's not reading them. Who's a good? You're such good doggies. Oh, I wanted to bend this down now. Hi, doggies. Hi. Oh, Dad, I love what you said. That's crazy. I wonder if you could be right. Oh, I forgot I'm not wearing my microphone. Um, Beth, it's good. Um, what you said is really, really interesting. I wonder if you're right. Um, just because we have so much activity in our home that, um, you know, that starts being like it's sort of some sort of rhyme or reason to the timing of things. So um, that's really fascinating to think about that. To think about it like that. I need to run that comb over this bed again. What's up, Daisy?
Time, how'd you get all money? What you need to do? No.
Hi, hi, solo.
You could have told me that.
قائم کیا ہوا تھا
It's done. What? Like where? What? Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll take my computer right out. 
Tent. Shoot, we shouldn't have to wrap that jug in. You're so sweet. Is that what sweet is? Oh, now you can put it in the door. Oh, it is. Let's switch on. I'm going to go charge this other one out. Drew got some pictures of Amelia home with her mommy. And the pictures are like, they made my eyes well up. They were so heartwarming. Um, Amelia, she, is, she, looks, she looks sick. She, she looks sick. Um, but she looks so, yeah, she looks so happy to be home. Okay. 
Hannah, I love seeing you snuggle with your mommy. So sweet seeing Paris snuggle with Yana. I love watching the two of them together.
No. 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 We try to say. No. Robin's got a nice coat, but like, Robin's got a messy arms is, it looks like she does her hair every morning. Yeah, um, her fur is always falling in the right place. You're so
Happen to all the holes. I don't
Yeah. Are you done? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Mocha.
I hope you can hear me now.
Looks like there's something in Vienna's eye. What? Looks like there's something in Vienna's eye. Yeah. Walk it out. What? Swipe it out. Like, no, like on her eye. Yeah, wipe it out. Just like, probably fur. Goofy <laughs> fur. Can't get it. Where'd it go? We're going to go to uh, like Sam's tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Goodwill, do it over there, go to Sam's. Um, in, can I grab a case of washers in there? Or a oh, case of moisturizer? I have a face wash and a moisturizer. Oh, okay. I forgot my moisturizer.
Dinner. Can you go to my Spanish with me?
It smells so weird out there. Still a harder. Get your bowls. Look, 
You need to get better at shaking, my guy. No, I just, I nicked a pimple. Does everybody have a bowl? Just here, here. Just here.
No dog use, no, not for dog use. Hey, just so you guys know, I cooked a peach cobbler for dessert. It's like a, it's like a peach pie. Oh, 
I'm not sure. 
Oh my god, Mocha, did you do that?
Hush, 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 hush. Hush, 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 hush. Sit. Sit.
Uh, is she done eating? Uh, yeah, I'm fine.
show. It is not for you. It is not for you. I can do this. shit out there. What have you been, Remy? I Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Well, I heard you. She said, okay, I don't know. She's not Oh, yeah. Those mixed scratches feel so good. Yeah. Hey, Philip. Come grab some. Do you want corner piece or the middle piece? Yeah. I don't see barking yet. I don't have the dog. There are the cats walking around. There's 14 cats. No. Okay. No, I don't have any vanilla. 
ice cream, unfortunately. I thought the same thing, too. No. You can't have any of this. You're pregnant. What happens to this? Oh, what, you don't want that away? Huh? No, not the right way.
Oh, you want some now? I didn't hear you. Um, well, the parts of it, you said that they heard you say you didn't want any. No, I said I wanted some. Mm -hmm. I said I would try it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, well, I look green. But... So it's okay, they didn't get it on there. So. <laughs> Don't worry, it's still over really super yummy. You want to go? I'm going to stop by old car. But those, I'm going to stop by old car. Well, that those things look came in on Roblox. He's not going to let us go stick there. Let me know. Mm -hmm. You don't know if you like it or not. You just actually 
Really good. Bella. Bella. Bella, did you want some of the cobbler? No. Huh?
are you guys chewing up? Thank you.
Sorry that the muke, or the muke, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? I had a migraine today, so please forgive me. Sorry that the mic is muted.
Okay. <laughs> 